Hi everyone, welcome back. Guys, we are going to start new batch online training Java backend developer roadmap. Okay, we are going to discuss Java backend technologies. If any company, any MNC company or a product guess company, if you want to become a Java developer, or I mean to say backend developer, if you want to get a job, okay, you should know mandatory technologies, guys. So those technologies, okay, we are going to start in the coming uh, another two weeks. We have a time, okay. If you want to know more details like batch start date, course fee, video access, okay, everything, whatever you want, just you can say hi to this particular WhatsApp number. Admin team will share you all information to you guys okay let me start okay regarding the course introduction okay so as part of this java backend developer role okay it's very very important you should know all these technologies here first if you want to start a backend development minimum prerequisites you should know guys the first prerequisites you should know about the core java Okay, especially when you are learning Spring Boot and microservices online training, you should know about or you want to perform any database operations also, you should know SQL, minimum one database you should have a knowledge. And coming to the Core Java and Core Java, you can learn like a fundamentals and environment setup, oops, exceptions, collections. Apart from that, you should have a functional programming knowledge about java 8 also you should know this is the first basic knowledge you should have and regarding sql minimum crud operations how to create a table update a table or delete a table you should have these uh, minimum crud operations on any database and coming to okay uh, when you are learning spring boot you should have a spring core framework knowledge you should have if you see here in the core framework, what is a spring framework? Okay, what is IOC container, dependency injection, auto wiring? You should know this whole concepts as part of as part of the core framework, guys. This is nothing. Let me make it as a point called auto wiring. Also, you should have so. To start, to start this batch, basically, you should have knowledge. These are all the prerequisites. This whole prerequisites available in our YouTube channel. Just go and search in the YouTube bar as Java Express. If you see here, uh, this is our homepage. If you are not yet subscribed, just you can subscribe our channel, guys. Here we have an option called playlist. If you see here, now, here we have an option called, uh, if you see here, latest Java 8 features. Just if you click here, you can able to see minimum what are the Java 8 features, Lambda expressions, predicates, and about streams, everything we covered here. Just you can watch these videos and as well as Spring Framework videos also you should have. What is a Spring Framework? What are the Spring modules are available? IOC container, dependency injection, auto wiring. So these minimum concepts you should have idea when you are going to start a advanced frameworks here. Hope you guys are clear about the prerequisites. This prerequisite video is also available in our channel, guys. Now, coming to backend developer online things, first we will be going to start about a Spring Boot. Okay, just here, if you observe here, we have a lot of things here. In the Spring Boot, you should not, you should have an idea about a Spring Boot starters, auto configuration, component scanning, and Spring Boot features is providing kind of a embedded servers or databases, or if you want to monitor any application actuators, okay. And Spring Boot is providing very important feature, kind of a production ready Spring profiles also, and a Spring Boot banner and runners. This is completely a fundamental topics where if you want to start head start for the Spring Boot, you should have knowledge on the Spring Boot concepts here. This is the first module what we are going to discuss as part of the developer online course training here as part of the roadmap here. Once you are good about the Spring Boot here, okay, you should have a knowledge on database here as part of this our training 
okay we are going to discuss one for mysql database or h2 database and mongo the mongo database here mongo db i mean to say mysql and h2 both are relational databases and mongo db is a no sql database here so you should have idea on about a database knowledge also you should have i mean minimum crowd operations you should perform on database here and the coming to next topic where we are going to discuss called api development here just observe here completely we are going to discuss so many things first rest api by using i mean a spring boot knowledge on top of that if you want to develop any a web application or distributed application we need to develop a rest api for distributed based application okay now as part of here initial session we will discuss about the architecture we are going to discuss about the architecture about a rest api how architecture will look like and a minimum before going to start the real development you should know about what are the http methods are available and what are the status codes and messages whatever i am showing this all the things as part of the interview in the real time definitely it will be useful for you guys okay and regarding jpa annotations as part of our uh, database operations we are using a uh, kind of a hibernate with jpa like one to many many to uh, one this kind of relationships and as well as a table related annotations we will use apps to jpa here once the structure is completed then we are going to communicate with a database with the help of the spring boot they are giving one of the module called data spring data inside a spring data again we have a types called spring data jpa and as well as spring data mongo db when you talk about a data jpa again in data jpa if you want to connect to a database okay you should perform the crud operations and domain specific language it's very very important spring dsl and the custom queries not only uh, spring you can follow the hibernetes queries like a jpql okay jpql or hql query language or native queries this is completely a oops followed by jpql and as well as native query it's kind of a independent queries here and we discuss about a joins and the pagination as part of our development if you want to start with a pagination this is the minimum database operations you should have about the data jpa module and then we are going to discuss about a mongo database it's a no sql database in terms of performance and in the real time to store huge okay volume of data if you want to store mongo db is the best approach is a sortable it's kind of a no sql database this is called about a data jpa communication via database we, we will be used we will take as a mysql database here now once you develop an application okay we need to integrate about the exception handling how you can handle the exception and how you can generate the documentation api documentation using open api 3 open api we can call as a swagger 3 guys okay is kind of a swagger 3 documentation whatever you developed the apis those apis okay we will be use a api documentation and exception handling whatever you developed an application is kind of a producer okay now uh, think like a uh, amazon and uh, think like a bank application he here in this case amazon is a consumer and a bank is a producer now you need to develop okay if you want to make a payment from the amazon you are communicating with your bank application in that case how to consume your application it's kind of a consumer development here either we can go for a rest template for the ex personal service communication if you want to communicate internally we can go for the fin client communication here this is all about the consumer development piece of code here and then 
another important point like a security nowadays security is very important whatever you developed an apis we will go for the basic security and jdbc security also and the next important point called as a jwt json web token it's very very important nowadays in the interview or as part of our development we are going to discuss about a spring security also here as part of our rust api development here initially we'll start with the spring boot before going to start you should have a knowledge on core java with java 8 and spring framework once you are good here if you are strong here then spring boot is very easy then we are doing to your rust api development here this is completely about a rust api development here once we completed as part of our okay development you should have some logging functionality as part of your feature where we can integrate some plugins also slf4j by using spring boot is internally using as a log back here this is about a logging framework where we can use as part of our development okay initially once you join into a company if you want to okay uh, you need a code from the control is nothing but a version control Okay, if you want to work any project, you need is a source code. Now the source code you should use is a git here. Why? Because this git is a prerequisites as part of our microservices development here. Now here you will be very good to develop our application development here. Once we are good Spring Boot, I mean to say Spring Cloud by using Spring Boot, if you know microservices development is very, very easy. We will take one year project here. It's kind of a real time project using that project. We have a Spring Cloud is providing some couple of libraries here. Almost we will be spend here, uh, I mean to say, uh, seven to eight hours of time we will be spend to develop all Spring Cloud libraries here, where we will be kind of a service discovery and registration mechanism, where we can use Eureka, I mean to say Eureka server and Eureka client. And to communicate between microservices, we will use kind of a fin client communication. If you go for in the Rust API, we are using the Rust template, but in the microservices, we will be used as about a fin client communication. Now, in microservices, if you take a simple application, you may have a 10 services. If you take a bigger application, 30 to 40 microservices, or it can be a more also. If you want to manage all microservices as a common configuration, if you want to handle centralized configuration, then we can go for the config server and the config client communication. I mean to say between, uh, I mean, uh, I want to, by using the Git, I can achieve config server and the config client here, kind of a centralized configuration. And then we are using a cloud gateway. In the cloud gateway, where we can discuss a kind of as a custom routing here. We can take as a custom routing and there is a filters. We can make it as a pre-filters, post-filters, whatever. If you want to configure, yes, we can configure as part of the cloud gateway here. And then resilience 4 j Now, whenever if you have a, a 10 microservice or 20 microservice, if you want to manage, if any microservice is down, still if you want to survive a request, we can go for the resilience 4 j patterns where we can include circuit breaker and as well as a retry pattern. When you are developing microservices, so many services, right? If you want to trace your request, now we are going for a distributed tracing, is a Spring Sleuth and Jipkin. Whatever we are discussing, this is kind of a open source libraries. In the real time, we have a commercial like a Splunk, APG, or we can say ELK. We have a lot of, I mean to say, Oh, commercial products also, but as part of our uh, development, we are using this microservices here, guys. Okay, if you know these are technologies, either you can be a fresher, it can be a five years, 10 years, 15 years, for, you need to know all these technologies are mandatory. If you go for any institute, these are the minimum mandatory things they will be teach you guys. Okay, this is about a microservices. Now development is completed means no, still you should know event driven architecture. 
okay in the real time streaming of data where we are going to discuss kind of a apache kafka where we can kafka architecture and how you can develop a producer application and consumer application how communication between happen between your micro services with this is about a event driven architecture here okay and then whatever till now you developed as part of the project development this development i want to deploy into a cloud environment where as part of the deployment we have a docker you should have kind of a uh, docker knowledge i mean to say anyway we are going to discuss docker architecture docker commands and uh, how you can create your own docker image everything we will be discuss here now once you know about a docker and the cloud knowledge first we are going to start with the gcp okay and the gcp is kind of a google cloud provider and aws and azure we have as part of our course we are going to discuss gcp and aws both if you want to practice your development and orchestration engine it is providing cloud providers called kubernetes gke is kind of a google kubernetes engine where we are going to discuss a config map deployment service replica these all the services we are going to discuss where how you can convert your micro services into these deployments here we are going to discuss those services and how you can do micro services deployment how to prepare the configurations everything we will be discuss as part of our gcp now in gcp kubernetes is a free service but whereas in the aws it's a paid service here okay now we are going to discuss as part of the deployment now our job is done means no not at all still after application development you need to develop a unit testing also it's kind of a mockito and a mock mvc we are going to discuss about a unit testing here guys don't miss this opportunity so many technologies are included as part of the back end developer okay a road map okay utilize this opportunity and if you need more information okay just ping a hi to this number you will get all the details and okay and if you want to become okay a devops role if you want to know more information okay now have a look here java interview questions available and as part of git videos available and see aws videos docker jenkins if you want to master in the jenkins and aws see completely around uh, around more than 30 videos available as part of the jenkins here and as well as, as part of the aws we have a minimum basic knowledge and until uh, advanced topics everything we are going to discuss here this is just you can go through in our channel you can okay you can watch those sessions guys here okay so that's all today session guys hope you guys are clear if you have any questions just yes, you can drop a message in the comment box or you can a ping message to the whatsapp you will get all the details so that's all today session guys thank you all the best guys